right, here we go. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. It's me, the Dark Maestro, composer, producer, Grim Reaper. How are we doing tonight? Speaking into the void. <laughs> uh, no, that's good. Uh, hope everyone has been having a good day, you know, keeping busy, having fun, doing whatever needs to be doing. Uh, nah, I'm a bit sore today. I don't know why. Just like, I think I slept wrong or something. All my bones feel more creaky than usual. Uh, anyway, uh, so tonight we are working on the lo-fi EP once more. Um, continuing off from where we left off a couple days ago. We just finished all the like MIDI stuff. And got the basic, got the basic form of what we want for the song to be. Um, and I think we're ready. I mean, we would just give it a little more listen tonight. And then I think we will start converting things to audio and start mixing. And that's going to be fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, so without further ado, let's get rolling. Let's get this going. Um, so in case you didn't see the last part, um, this is espresso martini. <laughs> uh, you know, just wanted a sort of, it's like a chill vibe, but you're still, has a little excitement to it. Has a little pizzazz. Um, so we got basically the whole form in, you know, we have our like a section where beat starts and we have like a pad thing and then like a B section where it kind of like breaks down a little bit and then returns to an A and then it closes out. Um, so let's give that a quick listen just to refresh our ears, or if this is your first time hearing it, give you an idea what this song is about. So, there's the gist of it. Um, overall, I like it, but I am hearing some spots that could be touched up. Let's see. I think most, let's see. First, let me see the, 
Not sustaining. I want to see the velocity. Yeah, I mean, some of these notes are getting a little bit lost. Just want to crank those up a little. higher notes 90 all right so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna select all of the guitar track and i'm going to where are you bend operations change velocity Ooh, let's get that window it's on the other screen Whoop. and we want not to set all hmm, let's see Or maybe, okay, let me set all to like 89, no, 90, 90, 91, sure. And then we'll randomize and do like a 10. And let's not get too crazy. Um, uh, is that affected? I don't know. I'm used to uh, Digital Performer's version of this. Not really Pro Tools, but that's okay. Uh, let's just see how a little randomization does. All right. I think I did it. See, now it's looking a little more uniform across the board. All right, so let's just... That might have been more detrimental though. Uh, I think 10 might be a little too much. Let's put it to like five, four, four. Um, which velocity is this one at? 100, maybe it needs to go higher. Not really. Oh, oh got one, give me the window, thank you. Let's uh, select us all again. I'm going to change this to 101. Oh, not 202. 101. There we go. All right. Now apply. Let's see how this sounds. Yeah. That's much better. Yeah, because you want a little more uh, consistency with that, especially since it's kind of like a pseudo melody. Like it's a m motif. So you want to hear that. You know, if you, you want to hear like, dah, dah, yeah, like, it, like sometimes pop in, pop out. You want a more um, s controlled velocity. When you, you can kind of get, like, when you get into, like, classical music and stuff, like, you can get away with more of a dynamic range because, you know, it's a lot more open in a sense. But when you're li when you're trying to, like, produce for, like, the pop genres or rock or hip-hop or anything like that, you want a kind of more leveled sort of feels because then it's, like, things get lost, you know? Um, but yeah, that's much better. We can hear a guitar now. Um, there was something else. I think it was. Yeah, I had a thought before starting today. I was thinking because it's like, it's called Espresso Martini. I thought it'd be a cool idea. Like, Probably in this breakdown spot to kind of get audio from like a Starbucks or like a coffee shop or something and kind of underlay it here. Because lo-fi music, you tend to have like static noises like or like vinyl effects. Um, I've sometimes done like, or at least some of the other tracks on this EP, it's like rain sounds or like a fire or wind blowing. It's sort of that like hum 
in the background that kind of gives it that like warm cozy feeling um and maybe if i take like some sort of uh coffee house like ambience put a filter on it so it's a little bit muffled i think that would be a nice touch i don't have that on me <laughs> right now but i definitely consider that before this gets mastered um there was something else i think is it before a Yeah, I think it was, it might be here or it might be before the, here, here, right before that sort of like Koda, Koda-esque, like ending, repeat, or refrain, Ugh. getting classical terms mixed up with pop terms. <laughs> um, you just, I just want to change a little thing. I just want to get rid of this hat, hat right here, All right? Yeah. Because here's a, like, here's a tip for anyone who's producing music, especially like in like popular genre stuff. The ear gets bored really quickly, right? Like m when you're listening to a song or something, or well, actually, you know, it doesn't have to be limited to the pop genre. Like classical music has the same thing or scores or whatever. Like the ear, the ear is listening like, interest span is like four measures, eight measures, you know, depending on how fast the tempo is. And once you reach that sort of threshold, the ear kind of starts getting used to whatever sound it's listening to. Right. So like if you take it at the beginning, right, you have the, you know, this little introduction. Na, na, na. Oh, now it's on a different key so all right interesting now something else gets introduced and out of the beat and it's like okay and you're still like all right there's a lot of, there's still a lot of interesting sounds here you know and we're repeating so you can get used to the idea and now at this point you've been like okay you're getting used to it you know what's gonna happen now ah there's a pad and there's some like marimba sound it's all about keeping the ear interesting or not keeping the ear interesting, keeping the ear interested, right? And in what you're listening to. That's a secret sauce for producing music. Um, yeah, so even like this one spot here, I just removed one hi hat. It's something different, right? Even if it's small, it's something different because you're like, oh, something changed. Because you're, you're waiting for that other hi hat. And it's like, oh, oh, nothing happened, you know? You can even, I could probably move, remove something else. Like, like I can probably, I can probably move the two last bass notes to here too. And maybe extend, uh, give me my tools, please. Maybe extend that a little more, right? And it's not even like only keeping the ear interested, but also it kind of uh, here, it kind of almost sets up. Yeah, it's almost like an anticipation, like <gasps> like a breath before it comes back in, you know? Just small things like that. Um, okay. Is there anything else that was bothering me? I know when I was listening back, oop, I know when I was listening back to like the VOD for the last stream, this kit is so loud. <laughs> this kit is so loud. Um, like it's just like boom, boom, boom. And that's okay. Like, I think I just need to make it louder in a smarter way, in a smarter way. <laughs> um, so maybe, but just for now, it could just be toned down a little. And then 
the snaps are a little boring. I might have, to, I might want to do like a spread or like change up the panning throughout the song just to be, cause it's a little like hidden in there. Especially cause you have like things on the forehand that's kind of like clouding it a little bit. for now well I mean like at least for this first part of the B section and then these can be extended All right because now it's like Okay, do the bass. And now, oh, now the bass is doing something different, so it's like it must be interesting. Something interesting is happening. And then leads into like the drums being more active, and then you have the bells coming in. Yeah, I think that works a lot better. That's, I like that more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works. All right, save. Always remember to save because you never know what might happen. Uh, I think I like that. I think we're good. Uh, so now the fun part begins. Um, let's see. Loop, loop, loop. Uh, and loop. We're going to commit so we're basically converting them into audio with all well they don't have any effects on them but they are converted and then we don't think I don't have any automation or panning so that's fine um yeah because uh no 
Uh, and then hide and make active. Perfect. Alrighty. And give it a second as it's converting. Oh, I have my little, I have a little progress bar over here. Yeah. Alrighty. I wonder how is everyone doing? <laughs> Waiting. I mean, at least we can commit these. The kit we have to separate out each part, and you have to like kind of record that through. So that's a longer wait because you have to listen to the whole song. All right, see, there we go. Now we have all uh, something's got to put out of order because now all the audio tracks kind of went down here. Well, that's okay. Uh, so now we're gonna also do the kit. So we need. Uh, Let's get our little window over here. We need three stereo tracks. All right, so here, come on. Here will be our kick. Oh, jeez. Come here. Kick. Then we have our snare. And then we have our hi-hat or HH, all right? And we're gonna color code these to be orange. Orange and orange, oh, God, yeah, orange. I don't know why I make the percussion orange. It's just like a thing now. <laughs> Like I, I have certain colors for certain instruments. Like I'm always like the bass has to be red. You know, I don't know why. It's just, eh, <laughs> it's a habit. And I guess when you like organize things, you just come up with a little like nuances, and that's the nuance. Percussion just has to be orange. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna go into battery now, and we're gonna take the kick, and we're going to solo it. All right. Then we're going out here, and we're going to send this to a bus. Uh, seven, eight, sure. Um, and then the input of this is going to be bus seven, eight. Cool. So now when we click, um, oh, now when we kick, it's going here instead of just out. And now the fun begins. <laughs> and now the fun begins. We start, eh, we can start measure before. And I hit record. And now we wait. <laughs> and now we wait. So how are we doing, huh? <laughs> uh, what have we been up to? Um, let's see, what can we talk about? Um, I've been catching up on Chainsaw Man. Cause I, you know, because everyone's been talking about the anime. And then I was like, okay, you know, I'll finally watch it. And like, oh my god, it was amazing. That is, it is ridiculous how good Chainsaw Man is. It is like stupid good. <laughs> and then I, I started finally reading the manga. And I'm currently on chapter 80 81 i believe and i'm still just like like oh my god <laughs> like what is this series holy crap uh yeah i know it is i can't wait to continue reading after this stream is over <laughs> uh it's just yeah it's i don't know why it's just it doesn't feel like you know other shonens out there if that makes sense it's just i don't know like it feels grounded i mean despite how like balls of the wall it can be is surprisingly grounded right like characters feel real you know yeah and like like you can't say that a lot of show so it's like oh that's a nice surprise you know and we're almost there <laughs> almost done with the kick Yeah, 
Yeah. Alrighty. And there you go. That is the kick. And now we do the same thing for the snare. Oop. What's happening? Oh. I got a sign. And then put. So we're going to do bus 7 8. I might as well get this one here too. Bus 7 8. Alrighty. Record the snare. And then we make sure that this is not only the snare recording because we don't want to record the kick again all right and we do it again <laughs> is a stink bug on my screen. Get out of here. Get out of here. here. like the Game Grumps 10 minute power hour. I don't know why. It's just kind of like, it's stupid. It's easy to digest. And it's just like, it's almost, it's almost kind of cozy in a sense. Cause it's just like two guys just doing random shit in a room. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, this is fun. What was the one I was watching today? I think I was going for like a, what was it, the David Cheeseman <laughs> like collection. I was just watching this block of cheese getting so horribly like moldy and gross. It's just like, oh man, I hope they got rid of it. Like <laughs> that's like actual health hazard at some point, you know. And then me and my associates will have to visit the gang rooms, and that's not really something I want to do. <laughs> This song is short. Like when I have to do sometimes when I'm recording like tracks in this way, like if it's like a four minute song or whatever, you just I just like set to record, leave the room, grab something to drink or eat, you know, <laughs> like check something else, play around with skull girls, you know. And then you're like, oh, I don't hear it anymore, so I think it's done recording. <laughs> uh tis the life. I mean there could be easier way to do this, but you know, whatever. This is my way. <laughs> All right. So, um, oh God. Now, which hi hat? I think it's the second one. Yes, yeah, the second one. Okay. There we go. And one more time. Save just in case. What else have I been watching? I'm trying to think. Um, I haven't watched any of it. Well, I finally like caught up on a sentence of a bookworm a couple weeks ago. Um, that's actually a pretty interesting easy guy. Um, it's like basically this girl, you know, gets easy guide into a world and like she's a huge book fanatic. And then it's like she's kind of reincarnated in the body of a, like a sickly girl and though time period it has like no books that are like available to anyone except for like the elites of the world and she's like I have to create books because I want to read <laughs> yeah it's interesting 
It certainly has like twists and you're like, oh, ooh, that's interesting. I didn't see that coming. And it's, I mean, it, I mean, it's not like the craziest storytelling in the world, but it's like, there's some things that are here and there that it's like, oh, that's neat, you know? hear clawing noises. What do you want, baby? Oh, you're... Oh, it's rainy outside. You are wet, my little cat. all set then and we can now hide and make active inactive for the drum kit all righty and now we can get into mixing mixing all right um let's see where should we begin um Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's get some reverb on this because it's a little dry. I like using ROM. ROM is a pretty good one. Ooh, it's a little too hot. Let's, I might have to make it ground. Mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that scared me. I don't know if anyone heard that. <laughs> All right, anyway. Um, why is it, oh, is it the K? No. See if there's any presets. Uh, uh, let's see. Pleasant Club. Let's try that. Ooh. It's a tree. It's kind of does like a weird thing to it. I'm kind of digging. Um, and then what I'm also gonna do? I'm gonna do. Mm, sound field, and I'm gonna do. Oh, it's a mono track. Ah. Um. I usually have. I usually go to one plugin called the S1 imager and it can it can make it wider or it can make it skinnier and more like centered um but that only really works if it's a stereo audio track but this is a mono audio track so it can't do that um I guess I have to use PS22 
I was thinking. All right, I'm gonna open up the automation dialog. We have all of our controls from here and here, and we're gonna have some automation on the spread. Then over here, we're gonna set it for a low, like a close spread until we drop in. Oh, I don't spot. Let's, when it comes in, well, here. Then bring the spread up. I think it, I just, something with the sound. Let me move these a little bit down. Um, harmonic. Hmm, let's see. What do we want to do to this? Not fuzz. Um, uh, oh, we'll move. Lo-fi. Let's just see this is how you're Sounds like a shaker. Oh, like a chick chick. Damn it. Chick chick, yeah. Which kind of fits because it's espresso martini, you know? Perfect. Um, I like that. That's good. Um, okay. Um, Let's get the kick going. Turn off recorder for that. We're gonna also do a side chain on here. <clears throat> Kick, we can actually make mono. Maybe. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Um, bus. Oop. Bring this boy up. Uh, we're gonna 
solo the kick. I'm gonna solo the bass. want this more punchy so I don't need to like sub sub comes with a nice go to. See what that sounds like. Yeah, all right, cool. Uh, all right, that takes care of the kick. Sometimes I love the look of these plugins. It's like, what is this? It's like a giant, like, power reactor thing. Um, we want a little more bite.
liking that. There we go. Um, <laughs> slurping up water. Um, Do the base next. Uh, let's see. Um, the CLA might be good. Classic. See how that goes. Oh god, that's so so. It sounds so me. It sounds so wimpy. Um, let's get EQ on there first. Good old REQ. Don't need the low end. Just need to make that a little stronger. 
a little stronger. Uh, <laughs> I want dynamics. What do I want though? Um, I mean, honestly, sometimes it's just experimentation. Um, let's let me try. Let me try inpusher. Do we have a piano so a reset? Hmm. We could try a guitar one. Uh, let's see what this sounds like. Let's see what that sounds like. That seems to even be worse. That's not good. Um, beef me up. No. Uh, I don't think this is the one I want. Um, vitamin might not be a bad idea. I think I want, I think I just want to use the ships. I like this. Yeah. I like this more. I like this more. Um, I mean, I should do actually, actually, because I think a number of things will want to reverb. I'm going to create a stereo aux input. This will be called a reverb. Reverb. All right. And where'd you create that up here? Let's go down. And to the bottom. There we go. Uh, and we're going to put on... Do you want to use a ROM? I kind of want to try the Halo Supermassive because this is a cool reverb. It's simple. It looks simple, but it's like... It's got a lot of character to it. Uh, and we're going to make the in. Uh, input will be uh, 13, 14. There we go. All right. So the kick is going to, the whole kit's going to be dry. Um, piano, we want 
So 13, 14. And let's just see. Oops, I, I done goofed. Got to make that solo too, or else it doesn't work. Try to impush her again. Also, and like a smidge with delay. Like uh, big six stereo lo fi, lower this a bit. Thank you. 
also going to go back to piano and I'm going to, uh, do I want to make it wider? Sound field, that's one imager, there we go. I'm just gonna wide him, boy, make him a thick boy. <laughs> gonna make him a thick boy. Dark Maestro, you're just uh, working at the computer. I, I can just go wherever I want. No, 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 no. I hear you. I hear you. Say, boy. Uh, let's see. What was I, what was I gonna get? Uh, you need delay? together. Let's just take it from the top. It should be on the piano. 
but it's kind of, I'm hearing like almost like a vinyl wind down, like a, you know, I'm going to see if this works. It might have to be on like, uh, if I like take that like, um, coffee house sort of ambience and like have it here in the beginning and then have that vinyl. But let me see. Let me see if this works on piano. Um, Uh, no, where are you? Ambi Road Vinyl. Can I use a light one? Does it have the, uh, yes, it does. Let's see what sound it does. So, what I want to do automation dialogue, and we're going to have uh, stop play. Added. Okay. Cannot, not 12 beats. You want only a quick. Maybe like two beats. And then. Let's see if that does anything. Uh, not quite. I mean, maybe I like slip these a little earlier. Like, what if I do? like halfway Ooh, okay okay a little early like almost like a 16th note got like zoom in now like here I like that. I have it like just on a tail end. Once in a while, I'll just come back in. Oops. I ain't got really here, but yeah. Then. Just go longer too.
I like that. I think that's a little neat. A little, little, neat little nuance out to the piano. All right. Cool. And I think we're pretty much there. I, I still have to add in the cafe and then mix that together, but I'm kind of liking how where we are. Reverse? Can I reverse? <laughs> Let me try reverse. Oh, that might be a little weird. Because I'll be out of. Let me try. Um... Oh, wait. I gotta go to a different window. Uh, audio suite. Uh, re uh, reverse. Reverse. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> eh, not really doing it for me. Oops. I don't know if I dig this lo fi. Oh, not the lo fi. I think it's ROM. Trying to scoop out some frequencies.
I have an idea. I want a little more. All right, this might be a little, this might be a little iffy, but I want to see if this works. Um, little older boy, right? I'm gonna do half and half mix. All right, and we're gonna do. Okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, it's a full octave higher. Oh, what's going on? Oh, geez. a different window opened. I don't know what this is. I don't want to name anything. All right. Um. Yeah, I want to uh, do some automation, animation, dialogue. There we go. Okay. And back, back bypass. All right. That's not the right track. <laughs> this track. Bypass. All right. Oops, the other way around. Have it bypass on for out until we get to the last course. And let's see what this does. <laughs> Right there. I think I'm just gonna trim off these endings. Oops, let's get the grid mode. Trim off these endings. So, uh, a little fade in, a little fade. Hear the ending more here. Yeah. 
There we go. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. That's, I think, one track down. Well, this is be number four. So I only have one more left. All righty. All righty. Cool. Cool. I think that is it for tonight. I think I did. I set out what I want to, you know. I think that's a pretty good mix. You know what? I think that came out as a pretty good mix. Um, yeah, so thank you for you all for watching. Uh, I hope you found this entertaining or at least enlightening. Or if you just had a nice time chilling, listening to this kind of groovy little lo-fi beat being made. Right? Um, I might stream the next one. But I also want to try streaming uh, like some other content, maybe some game stuff, things that are, things that are more uh, engaging, <laughs> you know, like things are happening on screen and I can react to more rather than just like, I like the sound of that snare. I think that works because <laughs> some people find it interesting, but some people don't. So, eh. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you all for watching whether it be on Twitch or if the VOD coming up on the channel later. Um, but yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm the Dark Maestro, and I will see you all soon. Stay tuned for more. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.